All right, so let's rank the best traits for each unit that I did on the last tier list video that I made yesterday. So go ahead and check that out. But if you have your own opinion, like always, this is my own. Leave yours in the comments below and tell me your thoughts. So let's go. Okay, so if I sound tired, that's my bad. I just came back from school like an hour ago and I'm still very tired. It is what it is. Life is life and you gotta live it out. But before we get started, look at this clip. Look at this clip that I came back to once I got back home. Look at this. Yeah, hold that motherfucker first try. Absolutely nuts. But that's besides the point, right? I'm gonna get started with these secrets since nobody really cares about them and uh, nobody uses them. So they're all going on Divine since uh, that's where the universal trait is. Since Divine is basically the universal trait, uh, you know, get that extra buff for damage mainly damage but a uh, low buff for range and sp as well so that's not too bad and now let's get started so first off we got blackbeard so blackbeard uh he's already got the big aoe so we don't need sniper uh no golden no reaper no divine since divine and unique you don't need their damage and you want multiples of these guys so godspeed is the only area since you want to get those buffs off and you if you can place more you can place them on corners of the map which could keep hitting them and debuffing them so that's really good uh for netero since you're going to place three of these guys down it'll be best on unique since it'll multiply their damage by four unless I'm wrong if any of these units that you can only place three of them down and it doesn't multiply them by four for unique then it'll be best for divine but uh if it can multiply it by four then netero is definitely best on unique since the aoe is already big range is decent and its damage is definitely up there so multiply by four what is it like 40 000? so that's around 160 000. similar to stark but not big of an aoe for diavolo nobody really cares about this man like who, who gives a flying fuck but i'll just put him on divine i should know unique because i do believe his cooldown is global so we don't really need multiples of them uh for kite honestly kite Kite's probably gonna be best on Unique as well just because uh, his class attacks do rotate so it depends on which one hits but if there's three of them then he'll be way cheaper to place down and you won't be worrying about having to place down more and which one switch. So his like wand does like 200,000, his gun does 40,000 every like three seconds so he's gonna be really broken. Uh, for Aizen, he, he has global cooldown and you can place three of these guys down and he's a little bit more expensive than uh, some of these units so I definitely Unique. Uh, although he is a support I can see him being maybe God's speed the thing is god speed doesn't lower the cooldown so unique would be best for him or divine if you're using him as a dps which is horribly bad for eto honestly eto is probably better for unique as well just because if you place one down it'll be way cheaper this fat bastard takes so much money plus uh you know evolved unique trait uh only goes for one of them so if one of them steals their kills uh it'll not work for both so if you only have one eto giving that passive plus six damage buff for each kill then it'll work way easier for you guys now for for Naruto, nobody really cares. I'm gonna put him on Divine just because, you know, extra damage. Now for Arima, definitely Divine because you want that extra damage and that uh, little range and SPA boost. But you don't want him on Unique because then you could place him on more corners of the map to actually hit units. Plus having that 20% uh, just increases it up to around, what, 20,000 damage now. So that's really, really broken. Plus his SP is already really low. And his AoE cone is absolutely insane. And Arima is still very meta. Just keep note that having Unique on a unit is still really good, but not great for for support units like Kisuke, which I'll get into here in a bit. And you know what, you know, speaking of Kisuke, I'll just bring him back up. So Kisuke, uh, I don't see him being as unique. Like I said, you want to place more of these guys down to get that buff. Divine, uh, if you want that extra damage, but honestly, he's not there to be useful hand in DPS. He does have good damage, but he's most useful for getting that manual ability off. And just like Erwin, you want to have as much AoE and um, as much range as he can to hit every corner of the map to basically buff every unit inside the circle. So now for Okiora, Okiora is similar to Arima, so put him up there with that extra damage. Uh, for Rengoku, you know, Rengoku normal, you know, he's not really useful, but you'll use him for evolutions, but still, uh, divine for that extra damage. Now, for Uryu, so Uryu, uh, don't put him as unique because you want to play six of these guys down to kill as many air units as you can. Uh, plus, his damage is already very good, and his SP is very low, so God Speed is not up there. So, I could see him being a Reaper if you want that boss killing vibe, but more of a divine just because you want to get that air units out of the way before any. Uh, now for for Erwin, or not Erwin, Aaron. He is a unique case here just because he's mainly used for boss killing and to troll around since he's very expensive. But similar case as um Lelouch, if you could bring unique on this man and have four times damage, it'll be best. Alright, unique on this man four times damage, and you can only place one. But if you can't get that four times damage, uh probably Reaper, since uh, you know, that boss killing ability for his high damage on his founding titan is gonna be really broken. Now for Akainu, Akainu's definitely up there with Divine because uh similar case to Uryu, you want to get the 
the air units out as soon as possible. His SPA is a little high, so I could see him being a gobied, uh, but his damage is already there, and why not increase it by more? Uh, for Rengoku, Evolved Divine as well, you know, similar to like Arima, he's already got that uh, he's already got that range in AoE, uh, SPA is up there as well, so why not give him more damage plus the burn? Now for your boy Madara, the one and only best unit in the game, right? One of the best units in the game, honestly. I, I put him in NA because nobody uses him, but at this point, I've already put all the secret rares and I'm not going to disrespect him too bad. So I guess I'll put him on Divine for that extra damage and range in AoE. Uh, for Akaza, same thing. You know, he's already got that place ability. You can place five of these guys down. He got that buff. So if you get more damage off, hey, the more the merrier. Although his range is a little smaller, so I could see him being on Sniper, but mainly, mainly for Divine. Uh, for Juzo, if you're going to use him as support, I definitely see him being more of a Godspeed because you want to get as many hits as you can so you can get that bleed off. But if you're going to use him as a DPS, uh, use him as Divine so you can get multiple bleed plus extra damage on top of it. But uh, more people are using this guy for uh, support now just because all the other units can be used for damage. So Godspeed uh, is where I'm going to place him at just to make the tier list look more even. Now for start, Dark is up there with the unique boys because you can only place three of these guys down. Multiply by four, 160,000 damage plus. His summons will do more damage as well, which is one third. So 160 uh, divided by third. I think that's um what, 50, 40,000 per hit. So that's really, really good. Uh, plus he's going to be way cheaper to place down and he's going to have more of a range increase as well. So add that on top of that, you know, he's going to be so broken for start. Now for Tatara, nobody really cares, but uh, get that extra damage off. But uh, you can put him on sniper since his range in AoE is a little small. So increase that by a, by a little bit and I'll put him down here to make it more even. For Whitebeard. So Whitebeard's a special case like most support units. If you're going to use him for support, definitely better for a sniper since you want to get as much range as you can to hit them with the manual move to knock them back. But if you're going to use them for DPS, Divine is where it's at. But more people are using them for uh, manual abilities anyways. Now for Miriam, similar case to Akainu and Uryu, mainly used for air units, but uh, get that extra damage off. For Levi, he's mainly known as a boss killer. And uh, this is where boss killers are mainly known at, which is the Reaper section. So 20% more boss killing ability. That's great. Plus you can play six of these guys down, so it'll mow them down really easily. Plus the crit as well. So it's going to be crazy damage on bosses. Uh, for Blue Devil or these other leaderboard units, I don't really know no, no much, but I'm pretty sure they're just, you know, damage units to be used. So I'll put them at Divine. Now for Lelouch, similar case as these other guys. Uh, like Eren, like I said, if you could have four times damage on Lelouch, definitely have him on Unique. Since you can only place one of these guys down and you want to get that extra damage off, Unique is definitely up there. But generally, he is a boss killer. So I could see him being on Reaper to have that mind control and that more damage on his Mega Bot, whatever you want to call it his robot plus his guards will shoot and do more damage to the bosses as well but three just three of these traits in general will be really useful for Lelouch unique is definitely the best for him if you get that four times boost off for Pito definitely a boss killer so I'll put him in Reaper definitely similar case to Levi as well he's like a she's she, she's like a ground version of Levi uh for Armin honestly Armin is a god an absolute beast you can place this guy anywhere at this point you don't really need a trait if you could put him on golden just so you could see that golden version actually no I'll put him on sniper so you can get more range when using that manual ability so going people are saying to give him divine or unique but the more logical answer is godspeed because if you calculate it really quickly uh, if we, uh, if do, we do what his uh, his spa is around 22 seconds so multiply that but by uh the buff which is 20 i think so my bad i did that wrong 22 times 0.2 that's around minus 4.4 seconds so if we do 22 minus 4.4 that is 17.6 seconds every attack plus the keyscape buff which is around 20 as well uh that's another 3.5 so, which is around 14 seconds as well. I, I probably did my math wrong, but his SPA does get really, really low if you give him Godspeed. And, and what you really you want from this unit, because he already has the AoE, you know, massive full AoE, similar to Broly. And he has that damage up to like 50,000, I believe. So if you can place three days guys down, doing attacks every 15 to 14 seconds. So that damage is going to go absolutely insane on maps like Namek. Or any map in general, since his AoE basically reaches from one end to the other. Now for uh, Katakuri, uh, I see him more being as a Godspeed speed because he does have that pass low and every time he hits that's when he does the passive meaning you want to have a low spa so uh so and i don't see him being used as divine or unique or reaper or golden either so yeah for shank similar case to uh kisuke you know you want to get as much area as possible to hit every enemy to stun them so get that sniper off for killua killua already has a low spa so godspeed isn't needed since he already has godspeed that's his literal ability uh sniper you know he, he has decent range but uh you want to get that extra damage off unless you're going to use him as support then i could see him being as a sniper and godspeed but more people are using him as a damage just because he has insane spa and the stun is just there to be there uh for 
or All Might. All Might has a passive knockback, so Godspeed. Get that extra damage off. He already has that AoE. Not not damage, SPA. Uh, he, has, he already has that AoE. He already has that damage. He already has that range. You can place four of these guys down. So getting that attack speed and keep knocking them back. And then finally, the last mythic, Broly. Uh, his SPA is a big factor, so yeah. I'll put him on SPA as well. And uh, similar like Gone, you want to get that down as low as possible to get as much DPS as you can out of this man. Now, uh, with the legendaries, Pain, like All Might, want to get as low attack speed as you can so you can get all those units knocked back. You could have him being as a sniper so he could hit more units. Uh, for Giorno, I could see him being a Divine or Golden because if you're using him for raids or story mode, you want to get that early kill and early gold so you can place down more units. But Divine generally is being used more. Rukia, definitely Godspeed or Sniper. I'll put him as Sniper because uh, you want to get more range off to get that done. Now for Dio, Dio's similar case to Giorno and Rukia combined because you could be using him for early defense or you could be using him for time stop. For time stop, definitely best on Godspeed to get extra attacks off since his SPA is up in 11 seconds, so that's pretty crazy. But if you're using for early defense for like raids and story mode, Golden is definitely better so you can get extra gold off, but Divine is what you're looking for generally. Uh, Erwin, you don't want to have Unique because you want to place at least three of these guys down to have that infinite Erwin buff, so I can see him being as divine but godspeed probably better because uh you want to get as much horses as you can as possible out there with the buff uh for hisoka he has that passive similar to uh katakuri you want to keep getting that slowdown godspeed uh for bulma na doesn't really need it and sakura na but uh you want to get that extra sniper so you can get that passive buff on him now this is my tier list what do you guys think if you have your own tier list and your thoughts definitely leave it in the comments below but uh yeah this is this is very new